Hey everybody, so yesterday I ran a photo workshop in my neck of the woods and we had a great group. We joined together at, uh, at a room and we talked shop for a good four hours and then we went out for an amazing sunset shoot. Uh, so I did actually, in preparation for that, I went down to the uh, location that the shoot was going to be taking place and I did a little mini vlog there and I'm going to upload that now and then a few of the photos that we took last night. I absolutely love it here. So this isn't anywhere near where I live now but uh, it's awesome. So there's this one really huge tree that is now broken but I used to sit in the middle of that tree so it is down in here and it had it was basically like four trees together and uh and i used to climb up and sit inside of it and it was actually it seemed so big and so high when i was little but now it's uh it's fantastically not especially now that it's broken so anyway it's a beautiful day and uh yeah i'll uh, i'll show you that vlog see ya Hi everyone, so I've just arrived at Pier 8. I am doing a workshop here this weekend at sunset. So I thought I would come out and see what sunset is like here today. It is, I'm not sure if it's looking too good for this weekend, but for tonight, it's, eh, it's possible. So I'm going to head out and scope out the area and see what places look really nice for taking some images. So there are lots of cool things to see and do here down at Pier 8. There is a very nice coffee shop with a beautiful skating rink that is operational this time of year. And then behind me there's the Harbor Queen which is a boat that uh, goes out and about on the waters. Um, the bay right now is all frozen as you can see that behind me, um, but moving out that way uh, there is moving water. This is just very sheltered and secluded in here and so everything is just a big block of ice. There's some pretty cool sculptures and so on and lots and lots of boat slips uh, in the marina and I'm not sure it's still a little bit early there's not really any great light at the moment. Um, behind me there's some breaks in the clouds as you can see there but in this direction which is where the sun is going down it's actually I think the horizon there is quite covered in cloud and we may not really get to see the sunset but you never know and it's not for another half an hour so I'm just gonna walk around look for some images and see. cool you can hear the ice crackling as the water hits it that looks cold so 
there's not much uh, color. <clears throat> so there's not much color where the sun is setting, but as is often the case, there's actually color in the opposite direction. There is a Skyway bridge and a lift bridge way in the distance there, and I've got my 70 to 300 on. I'm going to see if I can get some of this beautiful sky with the bridge. The swans are here. They're wondering what I'm doing. Either that or they think I have bread. <laughs> Around here, swans are one of the few animals you can get really close up shots of. They are not shy. Hello. In fact, some of them are kind of mean. I have to hurry because the colors are changing. And it's beautiful. Oh, wow. You should see the sky. It's amazing. So I'm at ISO 100. F8 and 1 15th of a second. So that means that the water is going to be a little bit blurry. The clouds may even be catching some motion. We'll see. I'm not really sure how quickly they're moving. Yeah, no, the clouds aren't moving too much. That looks really nice. I'm going to play around here with some different settings. Two second timer. I have a polarizer on. Beautiful. So yeah, that was it. Um, I apologize, I did miss my midweek upload, but uh, it was a busy week getting ready for workshops and all the same. I'm gonna be doing it again soon. And uh, it was really nice to come out here and enjoy my old childhood haunt. It's uh, my mother's and my own birthday this week, so we are gathered together as a family to celebrate. And uh, I hope that you guys are having a great day and we'll talk to you soon, bye.